Hey guys, what's up? Today I have a battle. This is a doubles match, and it's a like grab bag, mixed tier, whatever you want to call it, match against the Pika crew. Uh, he told me he trains the Pokemon himself and stuff, so didn't really want to have like a full OU battle. I don't, I don't know, probably, you know, doesn't have like Landris perfect and shit like that. Anyways, doesn't really matter. I'm always for mixed tier, or not always necessarily, but usually. Anyways, um... So that's what we're going to do. I am going to lead off with my Mianxia because it has Fake Out and U-Turn and it's incredibly useful as a lead thing. And I'm going to lead with Whimsicott because it's super annoying. Uh, he's going to lead with Electrode. He's also going to lead with his Chinchino. So I'm going to go for the Fake Out on Chinchino in case he wants to uh, break Whimsicott's sub and then keep damaging him. And then I'm going to Leech Seed assuming he'll taunt... But he's actually going to Thunder Wave Mianxiao, which is a big pain in the dick because it means he's, like, not useless because he can still fake out. And, you know, I mean, as long as he doesn't take a super powerful hit, he can heal most of it with a generator. But it's just really, really irritating. Um, he's going to go for Protector Shuckle and switch out to Torterra as I go for the Substitute because I didn't get taunted and I figure, why not? Uh, but he's going to switch out. And uh, I'm going to go for the U-turn on his uh, Electrode, now Torterra, which is great because it does super effective damage. But uh, it does only around half, and I don't see leftover, so I'm thinking he's going to be a Rock Polish Life Orb set, probably. And those are kind of annoying. So I switched to Star Raptor, and um, I'm, I don't know, I probably, uh, I probably could have done this differently. I should have killed Torterra here, but I go for the Encore to uh, get him to lock himself into Protect. And I breed the Shuckle, and I'm like, why did I do that? Why didn't I just kill Torterra? Um, thankfully, he's going to go for the Synthesis anyways, which means he doesn't, like, Stone Edge my Star Raptor, because I could have lost that, too, and that would have been mad. And I, I really don't know why I, I, I did that, but I get a bunch of damage on Shuckle. And, yeah, he's going to switch out because he knows I'm locked in on uh, Brave Bird because I did way too much damage to a Shuckle to not be Choice Banded. Uh, and, of course, I am. Because uh, Choice Banded Brave Bird and Choice Banded Close Combat, CBCC and CBBB, if you uh, if you will, are super powerful. But he's going to switch out to Magneton and Electro, the two things that resist it. And uh, that kind of sucks because I hit the Magneton. So uh, I'm kind of screwed. And, uh, yeah, I go for the Stun Spore. And that's going to paralyze Electrode and, you know, bring in Mian Chao just for why nots. Uh, he's going to taunt me now, and I didn't really expect that, but it's like, oh, fuck. Like, I mean, eh, whatever. I mean, I, I, I wanted to slow Electrode down because that'll help me in the future. So I'm going to fake him out because uh, it's not going to do much damage to Magneton. So, why not? Uh, I actually struggle here, and that's going to hit Magneton for a little bit of damage, but also hit me, which is weird because it goes through the sub, because it's recoil damage, but it's like, I don't know, it still seems odd. Like, not, uh, I guess, I don't know, whatever. Uh, he goes Mianxia, which is not really a big deal to me, and uh, I'm going to go into Starmie. I figure, might as well surf now. Whimsicott got a sub up, so it's like, he can take the hit, guaranteed. And I'll kill Electrode and do a lot to Magneton. He's probably going to kill my Starmie in revenge, but... I don't really care, because I still have Star Raptor, and as long as I can kill Magneton, I'm good, because Star Raptor can handle everything he has left, right? So, I just really need to get that Magneton dead. Um, yeah, so now that my sub's gone, I'm kind of comfortable switching out Whimsicott, even though he only has one return of Taunt, but it's like... Eh? So, you know, I'm like, whatever. I switched to Magmortar. I'm going to go for the uh, Fire Blast on his Magneton and switch out into my Drudagon because I figure, you know, he might want to try and kill Whimsicott with maybe an Air Slash. And I don't want that to happen because I still want it because it's nice to have, but it's like Drudagon take it, can take a hit because he's got lots of HP and defense and all that stuff. But he actually Air Slashes Magmortar, which is not a big deal. Um, but yeah, so go for Fire Blast again on Chuckle just to kill it, and I'm going to go for the Outrage, which I didn't realize, but in doubles is actually random. You, like It literally makes you select yourself, and it hits whoever it feels like hitting, which is sort of weird. But uh, he sets up a Reflect, and I still managed to do about 60% uh, to him or so, maybe even a little more, 65, which is awesome because Drudagon is powerful, but I wish he didn't have Reflect because that's kind of annoying. But, whatever. I go for Fire Blast on his Torterra. He actually has a uh, Aqua Berry, and I'm like, 
Wow. <laughs> like, I was... Oh. Meg Mortar's going to dodge the um, the hypnosis, though, which is excellent. And I'm going to get off an outrage and kill his knockdown, which is uh, also excellent, obviously, because, you know, hits killing my opponents and me dodging their 55 or 60% accuracy moves are great. But uh, he gets off an earthquake, which is going to kill Meg Mortar, which, again, I don't mind because Star Raptor is left. And uh, with Synthesis, I'm thinking he might just be, like, a tanky kind of set, maybe Rock Polish, but... If he does, he won't have Stone Edge, probably. And if he's not Rock Polish, then he probably has, uh, like, Stealth Rock or something like that. Um, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, he goes for a turn, which is a little weird. And I'm like, okay. I'm going to hit him with an Outrage, break through the confusion, which is excellent. And <laughs> I keep saying it's excellent, and people keep saying, oh, and I know you're not supposed to. Not because it's like, I don't know, it's just stupid. It's obvious that positive events for me are excellent. But anyways, it you know, sometimes he just... Not much to say. So, whatever. Um, he ends up synthesizing ging ging. Um, and, uh, yeah, I paralyze his uh, chinchino. Which, I, don't, I don't know. Whatever. Not really a big deal. It lets me kill him here. I, I, th I thought I was going to kill him there. Like, the first outrage. But then I wait now. Um, he's going to have Rocky Helmet and Cute Charm, which I don't understand. But, okay. Um, whatever. And uh, he goes for synthesis again because I encored him into it. And now he's pretty much screwed because he's got a Torterra left locked in on synthesis. Like, permanently because I'm obviously faster because I have Prankster and I can just encore him when it ends. Uh, I go for Stun Spore for no reason other than no point in substituting, really. And just going to kill him with that Choice Bandit Brave Bird. And it is going to absolutely kill him. And uh, that's going to be the end of the battle. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little doubles match. It was kind of all over the place, but... Eh, that's how mixed tier is. I mean, that's the good part about it. I did bring Weems of Conscious because I know it's so annoying. But everything else is, you know, uh, just Pokemon, whatever. I brought Starmie at first, and I'm like, oh, I want to bring something with, like, Water Absorb. And I'm like, the only thing I could think of was, like, Vaporeon or, you know, uh, Gastron with Storm Drain. And, like, I also don't want really two water types. I could have brought Cordelia, I guess, but, eh, whatever. Uh... You know, this ended up working. I didn't really put as much thought into this one as I did, you know, the one with Zapdos and Needle King kind of thing. I just eh, I played the battle. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the battle, and I'll see you all on Friday.